Hello Drupal fans, this video will show how to exploit cross-site request forgery in outdated versions of Drupal core in order to get the ability to execute arbitrary PHP code. Um, so this is a screen that most Drupal administrators are used to. It's the views uh, import view page. So normally what you would do is you would type in your view name and then paste in a whole bunch of PHP code here. Um, but what if you didn't paste in the PHP code that's a, an object or an array structure of a view? What if instead you just put in some arbitrary um, PHP code? Well, the, um, the views module will evaluate it and, and to validate that it is a valid view. And in order to validate it, the first thing that it does is it runs eval on that code. Um, so if you have a Drupal set message that says exploit, then that will pop up. You could also create a new account, run arbitrary SQL code, uh, you know, you use PHP to download a PHP backdoor somewhere onto the site, modify the HT access file, all sorts of different malicious things that could be done inside of this. Um, and, and if an account gets compromised, then maybe that, that hacker would, do, would use this page in order to uh, continue their attack. But how could an attacker trick an admin on a site, a real admin on a site, into, into taking an action? So I have this file that has some form fields inside of it. And these form fields happen to have appropriate names and values in order to execute PHP on the site by posting to that site. Um, so it's got this, you know, this form ID, views UI import page, and I will submit the form. Um, so you can see that it has done a Drupal set message of the word pajamas. Um, and then also there's a watchdog command in here. There could potentially be dozens of other PHP commands in here that would all get executed. Um, but I had to, in order to execute this, I had to click on the button. So how could I make this a little bit more malicious? Um, well, it's possible to have JavaScript submit the form on your behalf. So the form ID is malform, and if I use a little bit of JavaScript to automatically submit that as soon as the HTML and script tag are loaded, um, then we'll see that it can be... There we go. So I was just forced into, as a browser, it, it got executed before I could even understand what was going on. I didn't have to click the button, it just happened automatically for me. Um, if you want to be particularly malicious, you could put that form way at the bottom of a really long page so that the person will never even see it. You could hide it in an iframe that's one pixel big. Um, lots of different things that you could do to trick an admin of a site to submit that form.